So firstly, why is cholesterol really needed in your body? Well, it's needed to build healthy cells, vitamins, hormones as well. A lot of people think cholesterol is all fat, but that's really not the case. Vitamin D rides on it. There are several other things that actually ride on cholesterol if it is the right kind of cholesterol. So the right kind of cholesterol is extremely good for your health. It's only the bad kind and the excess of which can pose several problems. We're talking about different kinds. We thought let's break it down for you on how many types of cholesterols are really there which are constantly moving and circling your blood streams. So one, there is a good cholesterol and we all know that by now, your HDL, also known as high density lipoprotein. Then there is the bad cholesterol, which is called LDL, that is low density lipoprotein. And then there is the very bad cholesterol or something which is called a very low density lipoprotein, that's VLDL. And then something that is even worse, that is called triglycerides. Now, what exactly are they? It's like tri three kinds of fatty acids that actually come together. Let's not get into the complications here. But these are basically, this is also be the breakup that you see if you go and get your uh, lipid profile tests, etc. done as well. So these are the cholesterol levels. So always remember that the amount of HDL in your bloodstream should actually be high. And as you go down that list, it should keep reducing for you to have a healthy body. All right. But what causes high cholesterol levels? Well, unhealthy lifestyle, family genes play a huge role. Medication for thyroid patients have to be very careful. Remember, they're already on blood thinners, etc. Because it can lead to your instability in cholesterol levels as well and of course if you're a kidney patient you need to be very uh, clear about that liver patients as well now also a lot of us get tests done to know our cholesterol levels but are there any indicators that you have high cholesterol levels or high amount of bad cholesterol levels let's put it that way well if you have chest pain or chest burn nausea extreme fatigue shortness of breath you get sudden pain uh, that, is, that can get more sort of too much to handle in your neck, in your jaw, in your upper abdomen or your back. It's a good thing and an indicator that you should get your lipid profile done and get a check on all the numbers as well. If you suddenly get numbness or coldness in your extremities as well, then also it's a good idea to consult your doctor and let him know this is happening. He will probably advise you depending on your family history. And like I keep saying, every individual, every human being is going to be different. So do consult your doctor when you are feeling these uh, symptoms as well. So how to check cholesterol levels next, right? Your doctor will ask you to probably do that. He will ask you to do a full lipid profile screening. Cholesterol screening is overall will give you a look of how much fat is really there in your bloodstream, whether it's healthy, unhealthy, etc. But if you do come out with high cholesterol levels, like I said, don't get paranoid about it. Also remember to see which kind of cholesterol is actually spiking in your body. If it is the bad kind, that's when you need to start exercising. Lifestyle change is extremely important here. At least five times a week, doctor's advice. Avoid saturated fats. Quit smoking if you haven't already. Lose weight. Uh, eat healthy. Basically, don't eat anything that is coming out of a packet which is filled with preservatives and perhaps lots of trans fats that you're not even aware of. Deep fried stuff as well. And then, of course, as they say, manage stress. That is also go a huge way in your health, both physical and mental. Generally, people who have high cholesterol levels are asked to limit their sugar, fatty, salty intakes altogether. They are asked to replace foods containing saturated fats and trans fats. They are asked to include food that has high fiber like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts as well. Now, a lot of people think nuts are bad for cholesterol, but that's not entirely the case. We'll explore that with our panel as well. Coconut oil, butter, etc., deep fried stuff absolute no no if you have a family tendency of having high cholesterol levels as well also a lot of people say oh it's baked it's air fried etc well pies biscuits buns again they don't have whole foods less fiber so please stay away from that as well in lifestyle modifications if you have lower levels uh, modifications to lower your high cholesterol levels well like we said avoid tobacco altogether change the way you're eating again and again that's what keep emerging out of uh, all the guidelines that doctors give you and advice that comes from their way as well